All right, welcome to today's daily sidereal astrology forecast. This is for the 22nd of October, Thursday. My name is Athen. So the moon is shifting into Aquarius here in the later part of the day, um, in the evening for most of us. If you're in the Americas, it'll be roughly around the uh, afternoon time period. And uh, so for the first half of the day, or for most of the day, um, it is that Capricorn energy. So still about that long-term approach, that grounded energy, especially with all of this uh, lunar cycle in Virgo right now at the moment. But as the day unfolds, more of that free-spirited individuality, giving, sharing, maybe group-oriented type of energy um, in the backdrop. And I think naturally that's where our concerns will be shifting from more of the uh, productive sphere of things to perhaps more of the social or airy side of things. So that's going to be the uh, general backdrop. We do have some very important aspects here today. Uh, Mars is going to be opposing up to Chiron as well as Mercury squaring up to Pluto, who's also going to be trining up to Venus. So it's a mixed bag here. And um, starting with Mars, you know, yesterday I was talking about how we're going to be going through a sort of rejuvenation with our energy levels, perhaps for some of us, um, our assertiveness, our confidence, things like that. So I feel like that's going to be very important. And the more open we are to that, then uh, we can find that balance with this aspect. Uh, but while that's taking place, Mercury squaring up to Pluto. So there is this sort of depth and there is this sometimes challenging feelings uh, when it comes to our communications, when it comes to maybe some something we're expressing, maybe some correspondence, where it's very important to bring that extra attention to the communications, to the correspondence, and pretty much anything that we're involved with on a daily level. You know, Mercury, especially right now in Virgo, is all about the daily sphere of things taking care of business and uh, maybe even the health and diet routine. So bring in that extra attention, especially because we are in this first quarter phase um, regarding Virgo things, mercurial things, I think will be very important. Um, then with the context of that, Venus is going to be trining up to Pluto. So very nice for change with relationships, for the simple pleasures. It could be very enjoyable, actually a good depth, a good connection when it comes to the things that we enjoy in life. And any type of restructuring really really that uh, comes into the forefront can only deepen um, those kinds of uh, you know areas, the relationships, maybe even our self-expression too, um, since Venus is still transiting Leo. Venus is getting very close to Jupiter actually at the moment too, so there is more expansion happening with that in general um, over the next couple of weeks. So that's going to be the strongest energy is those three aspects. I think bringing that extra attention to the self, uh, confidence, healing old wounds relating to that, as well as extra attention to our communications with this square up to Mercury, uh, bringing that extra attention to what we're thinking as well. It's, it's very mental sort of sphere, watching any type of extremes with that and really coming from that compassionate and centered place will be important with this aspect. And uh, Venus trining Pluto, bringing that depth into what we value, who we value, going deeper with relationships and enjoying those um, things that are important to us on that very deep level that can come quite easy with this kind of trine. Uh, one thing too is that the moon is going to be sextiling up to Uranus so there is this uh, freedom energy pretty much all day especially with the moon going into Aquarius later. Uh, so here it's about new things, different things, tapping into that true self, unique self and all of that I think we can find uh, quite flowing and quite easy going um, with Uranus in Pisces right now at the moment. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.